Breakfast is an important meal for us and I'm always looking for a breakfast that's going to fill me up and keep me going all morning long. I want something that's really going to satisfy me and so sometimes I have smoothies, I do smoothies a lot and sometimes I eat leftovers from the night before, my husband just can't understand that. And sometimes I do hot cereal and this time of the year as it starts to get a little bit cooler, I love a good bowl of oatmeal. But I like to add things to it to give it even more vitamins and minerals and just more nutrients in general. So today I'm going to show you one of my power oatmeal bowls that I like to have. I've already cooked my oatmeal and this is just one serving and before I take it out of the pot I'm going to add a few things that really pack a good punch. So I'm going to add just a tablespoon of almond butter and almond butter is a little bit more nutritious than peanut butter. Plus it has those good monounsaturated fats that are really good for our heart health. So I'm going to stir in that almond butter also adds a little bit of protein too. And then I like to add a little bit of honey, just a little bit, especially, you know, September is National Honey Month, so I really like to celebrate honey this month. Add a little bit of honey, stir that up, and once the honey is melted into the oatmeal and that almond butter is just really blended in, then Oh, I know one other thing I like to do for a little added flavor, a little bit of ground cinnamon, probably about a quarter teaspoon for one serving. And not only does it make it smell good, but it really tastes good too. So now I'm ready to put it into my bowl and then I'm going to add a few toppings that give it a little bit more sweetness and a little bit more flavor. I've got a little bit of coconut. I've got coconut flakes and I like to sprinkle those over the top and I like to slice a little bit of banana. I usually use about half a banana for one serving of oatmeal and just put that right over the top. And last, I like to add some blueberries. And when they're in season, I use fresh blueberries, but today I've got some frozen blueberries and I'm just going to put a few right over the top. Now that's a breakfast that's going to stick to your ribs all morning long and give you plenty of energy. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.